right, you guys, good morning. Let's get right down to her. This is the first good snowfall we've had with that snow blower on here. We probably got six to eight inches of snow last night and it's still coming down. So uh, let's hit it hard. Let's see what 25 horse Kubota can do on a 72 inch snow blower. Don't look like the snow slowing down anytime soon. Boy, you can move a lot of snow with that blower in a short order, that's for sure. And I also have the skid shoes on that blower right now set up as high as you can go. And uh, eventually, here shortly, I'm going to lower them down and cut down to the ice a little bit. tell you, you really got to watch the wind direction on that thing or you'll end up covering yourself on them uh, open station tractors. Sure would be nice to have a glass cab on there <laughs> to blow that snow and uh, you wouldn't nearly have to worry about getting covered in snow. But anyway, now we're going to go to the long stretch of this downhill part of this driveway. But I can tell you, can you ever move a lot of snow quickly right out of the way versus a blade or a front end loader? And uh, it's so nice just to touch the snow once. That's the first real snow blow I've done. The other one was kind of just a fake little snow blow. Not much there. This one here is a bit more intense, so uh, it just shows you how much product you can move. Okay, let's go. Okay, you guys, we're at the bottom of the driveway on the road, and right here is a prime example on why I talk about oil spray in my equipment at season's end and in midwinter, whatever. Doesn't matter when you spray it, just spray it. You look at the salt and sand in these roads on this mountaintop road right here, the truck just came through, and I, 
hit these roads with a good dose of salt and sand. Perfect. But when you're running equipment through this stuff, I'll tell you that salt, that sodium, if it sits in any of them spots, man, it's going to break down that iron. And uh, that's just a fact. That's how it goes. So that's why with your snowmob snowmobiles, snowblowers, anything exposed to salt, you can spray them down at the end of the season with used motor oil, diesel fuel, kerosene. It doesn't matter. Just spray them down, man, and uh, keep that salt from happening. Strip after strip and a 